Hey beauties, good evening to you. So beautiful people, I saw something on Instagram and I was so discombobulated, literally taken aback, that I said, I thought the video was not I, one of those local social media person or people or, you know, I don't know if it's who is behind it. They normally post on their site. And I saw the video of a young girl being killed by a truck but it looked like when you're watching like Final Destination, you know, those freak accidents. And I, in my mind immediately, I said, I don't think this is Jamaica. Lo and behold, I was watching the news and heard the, the reporter re relaying the same story. And I said, oh my God. So it shows where like a car, you know, coming down. Um, you know, I did not know. I was saying, what's going on? It just, you know, like everything seems to be normal. And then like a taxi man waited until the car gone and it makes it made the it would be to my right, you know, whatever it is, going up the road, I mean, depending on how you look at it. And then you see a bus man follow followed suit in the same direction as a taxi man going, you know, as I said, yeah, I'm saying to my right as though you know where oh I'm standing. But it's going that way. And then because a bus comes out, a young lady's walking across the road, so now she's um, at the blind side or to the blind side of the truck that is coming, the oncoming truck. So he cannot see her any at all because she's blocked completely by the bus. The truck was not coming at any fast speed because you know when they're coming very fast. Just ordinary to me. And I don't know what, if the girl was distracted, I, I couldn't even watch back the video. If she had, I just looked at the comments and people said, she was distracted because I don't know if she had an earphone, earpiece in her ear, not looking. But even if you have an earpiece in your ear, how does that affect you from looking around? In my mind, that's what I'm thinking to myself. Maybe her mind just went and she just not realizing. And I just saw the truck he did. Apparently, he could not see her. So he just came and just ran over her. He could see like a, a little dip and it comes coming over. And I guess the truck man had to stop to say, what the heck? did he hit and what is it that he you know ran over so she oh my god the girl obviously is dead because it's a truck she got hit by and that's a very 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 heavy truck with the um things in it and i'm like sometimes as a driver when i'm driving on the road especially with younger people i don't know they seem very clueless I, it cannot be youth because I remember the days when I was much younger and I, when I'm crossing the road, I am so vigilant. I don't want any car to eat me down. Even if I'm at a traffic light and it is on red, may I run cross, may I walk very fast. Once I have to cross a road, I am so vigilant. So, and when so people may say, it's you, maybe it has to do with you, I don't know because I, I mean, I wasn't born at this age that I'm at and I'm not an old woman. And I remember the days when me a walk foot and I have a walk and every constantly I feel cross, 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 cross road. It doesn't mean that as a driver, you don't cross roads, you know, but I am so cognizant because I know, for, first of all, a number of these drivers are crazy. It's not just taxi men. It's, I don't take any chances with them from ever since. It worse now. So I don't know because sometimes the mind can probably take a walk, you know. The mind sometimes look like it go up on a vacation. I remember one day I was driving and I don't know where my, I started to think about this and until I ended up breaking a traffic light and driving. I didn't realize, I really didn't realize it's on red. And that is why sometimes, you know, when I, depending on what happens, I say, let me not judge when I see somebody run the red light because maybe they maybe they just, you know, just lost it for a moment or their mind just, just drifted a moment. And I, it's when I saw a lady there, I said, oh my God, I said, oh my God, did I just run the red light? I didn't even realize. So I'm going to assume that somehow our mind just left her or she was talking on the phone, got distracted or trying to just move from one place to the other. Haste really makes ways because she will never get to the other place. And if it's her parents that she lives with, even if she lives on her own, this now, the way how she died, this breaks the heart of her family. Horrible death. Horrible. I saw when the truck ran, it, it ran over her. I saw when it run over her. I said, I did not believe it was here in Jamaica. 
and I'm saying people, sometimes I see mostly young people, older people too, you know, you will have some older ones, they mosey along when cars are coming. It's almost like they're saying, hit me. It's almost like they're saying, hit me. You can't take that chance because one day that daring thing, I'm not saying with her, but one day with that daring thing, you're going to be hit to the point of no return. That's a very, very, I, I call it a gruesome death. That's a horrible way to, I saw when truck it and run over. I could not comprehend it. I didn't even believe it was actually here in Jamaica. I said, what a freak accident. So I quickly went to the comments to see what the heck did I miss? Because maybe my eyes, you just see some cars coming and then the truck comes. I could not believe this was like watching Final Destination. It was like watching Final Destination. One of those horrible, horrid freak accidents. So my encouragement to young people, you have to be aware because she wasn't even the way how she crossed, she just walked, she just walked along. She didn't move quickly and run, knowing that it's a thoroughfare area. So cars and buses and whatnot will dr be constantly driving. And I'm assuming she, maybe she must have some familiarity. Even if you don't, if it's somewhere new, that makes it even worse if you're not familiar with the area. Because they're not familiar, you have to move quick, you don't even take a chance because you don't know if it's a thorough. There. you don't know you don't know that was a sad I don't even want to watch it again to be honest I do not but when I went to the comments I see people saying some people should not be blaming the truck and he could not have seen her which I agree with because I remember when the bus was going you know making its right making a right turn and she was crossing at the same time so her body would have been blocked by the bus truck man could not have seen her any at all and coming at a, you know, average speed, I would say. And as the bus move off, the girl, I, I could, you can't. Father, 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 I beg of you, intervene on our behalf. I don't know, Jamaica is just, I'm yet to see a series of bliss and blessings, favor mercy and grace just happening in our country to just take off what is going on it's because the country seemed to be under a curse i don't know i have not i've never seen anything like this i don't know if it's not one thing it's the next it's just so many different things and one of the things that i despise is that when you say these people can say but these things happen across the world compare jamaica to most other countries in the world how many people live in jamaica Beautiful people. How many people live in Jamaica? For a small country. If we compare us to Singapore, there may something in it. And I'm not talking about the freak accident. I'm talking about the murder, the crime, the violence. When you think of countries like Singapore, that is smaller than Jamaica. Think of other small countries smaller than Jamaica. Do you hear anything like this? So I hate when we use, when we don't use critical thinking or comprehension skills and talk. It's like we sound like dolls, oafs. We so fool fool. You know? Very like like simpletons. Dodo heads. Like the brain just gone left when we attack. And we just attack with the teeth and the tongue and the mouth. The country seemed to be with all of the with all of the iniquity, the the, the evil, the obia, the witchcraft, the other evil acts. The slander, let me tell you something. People only think it is just the, the, the witchcraft and the obia, which I despise world without end. Amen. All of those things are satanic, but also slander is satanic. Some people, slander is just speaking truth with evil intent. You know that it will create mayhem and destruction for the individual or for the people, and you do it because you want to hurt them. You want to annihilate them. All those things bring curses. Because it says, you know, funny enough, when it talks about the things that God hates, it, men it mentions the things that relates to slander, gossip, rumor, lies. It's a curse. It's a curse. The country seemed to be because I have, I don't know what else to think about. At worst, if we're under governance that is not of God, Lord, may God help us. Condolences to that family because... That's going to break them. She died horribly. 
Why, guys? Anyway, follow me on TikTok. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Do share this message. Thank you.